I'm Alamgir Hussain, Professor of Computational Intelligence, Director of Anglia Raskin IT Research Institute in the Anglia Raskin University. iLabs indicates intelligence systems research lab, and we have three uh, thematic uh, iLabs. Most of the uh, research we focused here in iLabs for using artificial intelligence. So AI is our driving force. TB uh, test project is one of the project uh, jointly with uh, Anglia Skin University and University of Putra Malaysia. This is basically funded by uh, Newton Research Fund, a joint fund uh, of UK government and Malaysian government. The Newton Institutional Research Fund is managing by British Council for both UK and Malaysian side of the project. Tuberculosis disease is a widespread uh, problem uh, in Southeast Asia. Uh, Malaysia is one of these countries. Other than Malaysia, we can think of Indonesia, India, China, they all have serious problems to this particular context. Globally, 10.7 million people has TB infection in 2016, and uh, about 1.7 million people died. The objective is to develop mobile enabled expert system to test uh, tuberculosis disease in real time, at any time, anywhere, without an expert. So for instance, if it is in remote area, someone can use a mobile phone with the biosensor developing in University of Putra, Malaysia, together to test TB. This project is actually two phases. The first phase of the experiment is conducted at the University of Putra, Malaysia, to produce a significant color signals from the interactions of antigen and antibodies by applying the plasmonic ELISA technique, a real and synthetic sputum samples. The second step in this phase is to use the mobile camera to capture the images of the ELISA plates and send them to our team in Anglia Skin IT Research Institute. The mobile app simply captures the images of the ELISA plate and analyzes the result. The result of the TB is classified as positive or negative based on the color signals. We thought it will be a useful tool to use in remote area, particularly where there is no or very limited pathological facility. The age workers can use that, the health professional can use for pretty many diagnosis. So it's not something we are replacing uh, the pathological test by using mobile phone. Uh, we thought it could be uh, an aid to support, extra support to do that. I'm looking into the bigger picture of colorimetric tests and I'm integrating that knowledge of image processing, machine learning research bits, working out the rationale and also I'm working on the publications of this project. I've gained specialized knowledge of the subject of computer vision, image processing, clustering and classification. I've developed skills of managing a research project. I've developed skills to work in collaboration with people from different disciplines and cultures. I got the opportunity to work with researchers uh, from different disciplines. Uh, even the experiments were conducted in two different continents. So being a PhD candidate in Anglia Raskin IT Research Institute, uh, it was my privilege to be a part of the TB project team. This is the beginning uh, to work with the University of Putra Malaysia and it's something that will continue and we already started exploring uh, for the opportunity to carry on. Mm -hmm.